The machinery and the monarch have changed a few times since 1930 when Merry Thought was founded. But the iconic teddy bear producer plans to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year with a limited edition Elizabeth II bear. Complete with cloak, crown and twinkly blue eyes. The cost of raw materials has increased by 20% during the pandemic. But it is Merry Thought's ability to pivot towards small runs of commemorative designs like this one that still makes these bears good business. The type of manufacturing that, that can do well in the UK still is generally high end, um, high quality and small batch production of specialist products. Merry Thought is much smaller now than it would have been 50 years ago and we can be flexible and react to opportunities quite quickly and we've become very respected for creating very high quality commemorative soft toys. The £339 price tag might be enough to make even a glass eye water but collectors who buy these bears consider them a bargain. One in nearby Telford, who already has his Jubilee version on order, says he is buying not toys, but investments, heirlooms and a piece of history. It's the history of the country in a product that is nice to keep, nice to look at, nice to hold and it's a long term investment as well. When you buy in the premium, premium product, for investment purposes or for keepsakes or to hand down like we're going to do with ours through the family, you don't mind paying that extra bit of money. When Queen Elizabeth was being dressed in her coronation robes, around a third of the UK workforce had jobs in manufacturing. Thanks to a flood of goods from cheap labour countries, that's not the case as her reign turns 70. But what Merry Thought proves is that with agility and imagination, the Made in England label can still turn a profit. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, at Merry Thought in Shropshire.